Okay guys, now this is one that does not have a lace at all. This is a shorter wig, but I'm using this one just as an example so you can know how to put a part on the wig that does not have any lace on it. And it's not going to be much different from what we did with the lace wig, but in my opinion, I feel like it's easier. And because this wig is already black, you don't have to use your marker with this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull your hair like to the side, separating from where you want your part from where you don't. And in this case, it's already separated where I want it. Put it down a little bit. And I don't wear my wig all the way on my head, so I have a little bit of hair. Okay, so this is where my hair is. This little bit of hair right in here. This is my hair. Everything else is the wig. Now we're going to take our concealer, skipping the marker step because we don't need the marker because this hair is already dark and there's not any tracks that's showing. Even so, when the hair is dark, you can't really see it as much. And we're going to dip into the concealer. And we're just going to place it directly on top of the hair. So we're going to put it right on top of that hair. Just dabbing it in, pushing it in, and, and wiggling it side to side. Pushing it in and wiggling it side to side. I will say with this method, when you're not working with the marker and the lace, you will have a lot of cleanup to do just because it can get a little bit messy because we're putting it right on top of the hair. And you may find yourself, when you're putting it on top of the hair, you may have to move in an up and down motion like this because it's harder to get it on the hair than it is just putting it on the lace. And don't worry when you're getting the concealer on the wig and it's looking all crazy because we're always we always can go back in and clean it up what we're worried about is getting the product on the hair And I think I'm going to stop right about there. And I can go a little bit higher. Sometimes I think the higher the part or the longer the part, the better it looks. And then once we got it on the wig, I'm going to take this step to put it on my hair too. Since I don't wear my wigs all the way down on my forehead, I'm just going to put some concealer right here on my scalp just to blend that in and I think that's a very important step to blend it with your where the wig ends because that way you can't even tell like it's a wig bump anything it just looks like it's going straight from your hair all the way through okay now that we have the concealer on you can either take a marker or you can take a wet Q-tip, but I'm going to use the same marker that I used for the other wig, and I'm just going to go in and clean up whatever mess we made on the actual hairs. And if you find that it's just that you might be running out of <laughs> ink or whatever in your marker you can always like use a little wet towel and go in and get it or a wet q-tip but i'm just using this just because i still have some left 
and you just go in. You can even take the thickness out, like I said before, of the part if you feel like your part is too thick. But you just go in, clean up all the mess. So you can always keep cross-checking. If you're not sure, just stand back, look at it, cross-check it. If you feel like it's still like some missing spots like here, I still feel like it's a lot of breaks in the hair. So I'm just going to go back in with the concealer and dab it in so that there's not any breaks in the hair. Keep doing that and bagging up and getting a different view of it until you can see that it looks decent enough. And that's how you do it when you have a wig that does not have lace. You should not be able to see where the wig starts and your hair begins. It should be like a nice little blend. This is a short wig, so it kind of feels weird having a part in it. But just, just for show, just so you can see, how to do it when you don't have lace. Well guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, then don't forget to thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. All right, till next time, lovies. See you later.